Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys the best JavaScript frameworks and each of their best use cases. Look, I'm not going to give you vague BS answers, and I expect to piss off a lot of people in the process. I'm not here to validate anyone. I'm here to give you real, actionable, and truthful advice. So if you're here for genuine help, you're in the right place. All right, the best framework to choose for beginners is going to be React. It has a huge ecosystem. All the tools are compatible with React, as in, if you ever find a tool that you need to use for your website or you want to use, there's a 99% chance that React is compatible with it. On top of that, it's going to force you to learn JavaScript properly because it's close to vanilla JavaScript. So that's a huge plus for beginners trying to learn website design in general. If you're going to learn a React uh, framework, because React is just a library, don't go with React DOM. I think it's out of date. I think the developer said not to use it. So go with what I call Byte. It's a really good beginner-friendly React framework. For job seekers or people looking for a job, I'd also go with React, but not traditional React and Byte, but instead React and Next.js. I'll explain that in a second. Every job hires React. Like I said, it's the industry standard. Everyone uses React. So if you're looking for a job, the best bet is going to go with React. But of course, there are going to be some jobs that list other frameworks. And even though this is true, they usually still expect you to know React to begin with. So if you're going to do this, first learn React and then branch out and learn the other frameworks. It's not too hard to branch out once you learn one framework. So don't worry too much about this. And finally, React is used in literally every company on the planet, from small companies to Fang. So if you learn React, it's going to work in nearly all environments. Okay, so Next.js is just another more advanced uh, React framework. It's better than uh, White, so if you're going to go for job seeking and job searching, I would learn Next and React. For personal use, I would go with Swell. It's a really lightweight and simple JavaScript framework. And if you remember the first time you built your first website, how much fun you had, possibly. If you remember that first feeling of like joy of figuring it all out, for some reason, I feel like Svelte brings that feeling back. It makes web development fun again. It's a really nice, simple framework. It's really good to use just for personal projects, but it's very nice for just something simple and lightweight. For freelancing, I would go with React, but honestly, expect to work in block builders. I say React because it's the more likely one if you're going to write code, but from my experience, you probably won't end up writing code because most clients are going to come to you with like a really shitty half-made WordPress, Mixer, Squarespace site, which they have completed and never got done. Mostly because they thought that they could build their own website by themselves. They thought they could figure it out. They got into the block editor. They started messing around with it, realized they couldn't do this shit. And then they had to hire someone like you to fix it for them. So that's more likely what's going to happen for freelancing. But if you're lucky and your client or the person hiring you is competent or just smart in some degree and knows something about web dev, maybe you want to code and react it's probably the best one to choose it's the highest likelihood that's what they're looking for anyway so increase your luck if you can get lucky and find someone looking for someone to write code for them otherwise you're probably going to end up working with some sort of block editor anyway so don't get your hopes too high if you're going for long-term maintenance and scaling i would go for react it has a massive react dev pool so if you're trying to hire someone in the future it's going to be a lot easier to find a react dev specifically it also integrates really well with enterprise level tools it's the best choice overall for scalability and robustness and something that will last long in the future. If you go for internal tools or dashboards, I would also go unsurprisingly for React. There's a lot of ready-made libraries already designed for stuff like this in React, such as Shad CN. It's also really good data fetching if you use Next.js and React as a pair. Final words. Listen, I know the other frameworks are good, but they're not the optimal choices. What I told you in this video is honestly just optimal. If you're trying to do stuff efficiently and in the best manner possible, Go with what I said. But I'm not your dad. If you really want to use something like Angular or Vue, you can. It's up to you. If you need to do it to enjoy web development, please, by all means, getting code out there and getting stuff done is always better than not doing anything. So if it's a matter of do or die, you can use another framework. It's all up to you. But if you want the optimal choice and you don't care about that stuff, what I said in this video is the truth. If you want to land a job quickly, by the way, I have an online community for new web developers. I have a lot of strategies and methods for getting hired as soon as possible. There's a link in the description if you want to check it out. If you're curious, otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.